हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम डॉक्टर विजय प्रकाश एंड टुडे आई बी टॉकिंग टू यू अबाउट पार्ट्स ऑफ डेंटल इम्प्लांट्स नाउ व्हाट यू मीन बाय डेंटल इम्प्लांट डेंटल इम्प्लांट इज एनी प्रोस्थेटिक डिवाइस व्हिच इज मेड अप ऑफ एलोप्लास्टिक मटेरियल एंड दिस इज इम्प्लांटेड इनटू द ओरल टिश्यू बिनीथ द म्यूकोजल ओरल और पेरियोस्टल लेयर एंड दिस प्रोवाइड्स अ कनेक्शन फॉर द फिक्स प्रोसेसेस लाइक वी सी इन दिस मॉडल so this is the implant which is placed inside the bony tissue the osseous tissues and over this you have attached with either a fixed processes or a removal processes so let us understand what are these parts which make for a dental implant now if you see a dental implant like this each each implant will be having different types of these serrations they will be having different types of shapes so this is an endosteal implant they will be having either an internal hex or an external hex depending on which system you are using and also the connection will be different the surface treatment of the implants will be different active implant surfaces will be having different a uh, surface treatment in comparison to the regular passive implants so this implant is placed inside the bone and over this uh, if you are following the uh, brennmark concept of placing an implant into two phases then you place this you cover this with a then you cover it with a cover screw pick up the cover screw like this and place the cover screw and you cover up and suture the soft tissues you allow this to heal and once we have provided a healing period then after 2 months or 3 to 4 months depending on where you are placing the implant what what is the quality of bone you will do a second stage surgery now when you are doing a second stage surgery you are going to remove the tissues which are covering the the uh, the top of the implant and remove the cover screw so this is the cover screw and you replace it with a healing abutment healing abutment or gingival formers so you have a healing abutment which is dome shaped this is dome shaped and you place it on the implant so once you have place the healing abutment or uh, the gingival formers in place you allow the soft tissues to heal you allow the soft tissue collar to form around these uh, this area and once you have a good soft tissue collar you are going to remove this and then it is ready for impression making so for making an impression either you you either you can make an abutment level impression or an implant level impression implant level impression is one of the most commonly used especially when you are using uh, multiple implants in the multiple implants so you have this type of impression post and the uh, abutment you can just screw it onto the implant with the screw the abutment screw you place it like this and you just screw it in so this is a uh, basically a connection which will hold on to the uh, uh, hold on to your impressions when you are making an impressions this is transferred to the impression this information is transferred to the impression and uh, with the impression you place the lab analogs and then you make the final processes so before this what we are going to do you are going to cover it with a plastic sleeve <clears throat> now when we are covering this with a plastic sleeve one thing which you have to keep in mind is this flat surface the plastic sleeve this flat surface should coincide with this flat surface on this impression post and once it is in place you make a impression over this with a silicone impression material light body and putty or 
another appropriate elastomeric impression material and uh, when you have when you are removing the impression this plastic sleeve will be removed along with the impression and this will be part of the impression and then you are going to remove this impression post from the implant and place it onto the the plastic sleeve in the same manner as you had done that when you are placing so you remember the flat surface you place it like this and and then you are going to hold it with the lab analog so you have this lab analog here it simulate the implant like this and you place it like this so once this is placed in the impression you pour the cast once we have the cast with you over this you make the final processes so final processes can be uh, ceramic uh, ceramic restorations or metal ceramic restorations or cast metal restorations they can be either cement retained now this is a cement retained or it can be a screw retained restoration so whatever the uh, choice of your uh, restoration for that particular case is accordingly you can fabricate that so if you are using multiple implants again in multiple implants also uh, you will be using different type of impression technique open tray technique with multiple implant is most preferred one and closed tray technique as i was telling you with the use of these plastic sleeves is most commonly used for a single implant case so with this we come to end of our uh, presentation thank you for watching the video